It's Megan and Nate. We are trying again. This is our fourth attempt at trying to go live with y'all. And apparently we're, we're doing fun little little screen intro shots thingy things. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now, you guys. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay, so I see Angela. I see Kayla. I see Tracy and Kelly all ready to really have fun with us inside of our She Makes Club um, page and and really 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 trying here to get you guys up and live and watching hi tina um say something babe <laughs> help me <laughs> um we're really trying to get this all going this is i hate when it gets hectic like this i absolutely want to well can they see us can well yes people are seeing us but i think they're not they're not seeing us where they're supposed to be seeing us so i'm trying to get us moved to where we need to be hi denise i'm really trying you guys i'm so sorry um we were ready to go. We were sitting in here at 8 o'clock tonight, having everything prepped, going over, our, like, the entire workshop. Um, hi, Denise. I'm panicking. I'm going to, like, calm down. Relax. We're just we're just Facebook Relax. living here, so it really doesn't matter. I just wanted it to be, like, an amazing, fun workshop for everybody tonight, so. And it will be. We'll get squared away here. And... I just feel bad. Um... Hi, Tina. Okay. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. We're going we're gonna to try one more thing here, and we're going to get it where we need to be. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping here. Okay. I'm not trying to drag this out because we have a lot of fun things we want to talk to you all about tonight. Um, we just got back from New York City. Was that... Um, is it in the group now? Okay. Guys... Can you please comment and tell me if you're watching on my page or inside She Makes? Can I turn the volume up? I can't turn my volume up. You can turn your volume up. I can talk louder. Mm -hmm. Our volume is at its max for how the, the microphone system works here with Switcher. I can try to adjust audio. Nope, it's all on the main. So it's all as loud as it can go from that standpoint. I'm glad you're at least watching. Um, I'm like starting to panic. You're watching and she makes. Awesome. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Okay, so I think we're getting where we need to be. Man. I'm telling you, I love Switcher. I do. I love this because I love that we can have our video graphics. And you're going to see we're going to go overhead and we'll have the two camera views. And I really love all of that so much. But sometimes the technical stuff of getting the groups on Facebook to coordinate with Switcher and everything, it makes me want to pull my hair out. Absolutely pull my hair out. Thanks, Tina. I appreciate that. You guys commenting and just saying anything at all helps a ton. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We're going to jump into, we're here. I think we got it. I think we're where we need to be. Perfect. If I'm missing anything, um, yeah, I don't really know what else. I don't. I don't know what else to do about it. I don't. Do you have anything? I know. I know. I'm putting you on the spot completely here at this moment, but I'm just trying to get this. I'm. I'm trying to get this fully functioning. I think the understanding. Just take your time and you know, see what you can do. Yeah, I feel bad, but we're doing the best we can here. Um, goodness, I'm just, I think it's all working. Oh, wait, I see Tracy. Wait, no, Tracy commented on her thing. Oh, good. She cut all her letters apart. Good job, Tracy. So that is one, that is one major good thing to do. I don't know if she's, com she's not commenting on the video. Um, I'm trying to make sure the people that bought the full kit are where they're supposed to be because we have people commenting and that is the only reason why we haven't just dove in and got started yet. Um, because I just want to make sure that those who purchase their kit and the entire workshop are really getting, that's what, that's what this is here for. So we want to just make sure. Um, and I had this all tested and planned out ahead of time. So still technical difficulties and started late. That makes me sad, but I'm sure they understand. Hi, Cody. Hi, Tammy. Okay. There they are. All right. There is some links. I will 
um, pin that comment to the top. Hi, Katie. And I think everything else is where it's supposed to be. Um, I think we got it. When I go back over here, I should be able to see. Yeah, I see, I see people are on here. So, all right. Thank you, Sherry. We have a couple different comments happening in different locations too. So sometimes that just makes it a little bit more confusing when we do it like this using Switcher. Anyway, hi guys, we're going to start this over. We're just going to, and hi. <laughs> you're, I'm really low and you're really high. Okay. There's Tracy's comment and that's what I want. That's all I want to see. Okay. She's not, she's missing this. So that is the biggest thing that I'm trying to get squared away is that, um, this is shared as it's supposed to be. Um, and Kelly, okay. We'll just do it like that and hopefully at least they can be a part of this because they paid for the kit and they need to be a part of this outside of, hey Lori. All right, I think we got it. If anybody's missing it, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, they are letting us know, and that's part of the problem, because I just got a message from Kelly. I thought this started at 9, and then Tracy posted, so I'm trying to get the people that are that are messaging me where we... There's Tracy. Okay, hi, Heidi. Okay. That's that's what I was trying to, to get us to. I think we're okay now. <sighs> okay, seriously, we're going to really start this time. We're only six and a half minutes in. It's no big deal. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. I think everybody does understand and we see people coming on. All right. We're good. All right. Officially starting. We'll start over. Hi, <laughs> this is Megan and Nate. And we're really thrilled to be doing this fonts and family workshop with you all tonight. We have a lot of really fun things to share. We were going to tell you some stories about our little trip to New York City this week. Mm -hmm. We had some really awesome experiences together that we definitely are very excited to share with you. Um, I definitely felt a little, um, the, the differences in who you are at your core and who I am at my core <laughs> come to light. And it was really funny. So we're going to share some of those stories as well. Um, we are going to be do, um, using both sides of the box frame that we sent out in this kit. Um, the kit went on sale earlier last month. And we offered a special, but I know that a lot of you, uh, many people purchased the kit. We sent them out earlier. Everybody has their kit. I think Tracy got hers the very last of everyone, only because Tracy is Nate's sister-in-law, and she lives, like, right behind us, and I kept, like, thinking, oh, I'll just drop it off. I'll just drop it off, and I never got over to drop it off. But I finally got over, and we connected, and it mm. was fine. Anyway, um... Where are you needing it shared? Maybe we can share it for you. I was just trying to make sure the people inside She Makes Club, which is where all the uh, kit purchasers were sent, were able to see the video. That's what I was doing, Denise. Um, so anyway, we're going to be talking on both sides, and we're going to do this as um, simple as we possibly can. Nate is still a beginner chalker as it pertains to mm -hmm. any extra design work. So you're really great at like pulling out a transfer and just pasting it and going. And he does all the... You do all, like, the prep work stuff, like the sanding and the... Yep. I get the boards ready and... Yeah, staining and waxing and anything like that that needs to happen. This guy's the pro. Mm -hmm. He does the power tools. Sometimes I should stay away from the power tools. Yeah, no power tools. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, awesome. Yes, that's all that matters, Tracy. Um, but so he's going to show you guys how we're going to do a custom name on the back of the board. And then I'm going to show you doing two words on the front of the board using the font transfer. We sent out the classic serif font in the kit. So you get a full um, upper and lower case font. It's a nice size. Um, the letters are anywhere from an inch and a half to two and a half inches in height. Um, so it's really a nice bold font. And it's very classic, so you can really customize for any holiday occasion, custom name, or saying, or sentiment. And um, we decided we're going to go ahead, and he wants to do, just because he wants to do one word, he's like, well, I'm, you know, he's like, I'm going to do Hebner, And I'm like, well, he better get on this, because my legal last name isn't Hebner yet. So 
That's what I'm saying. Well, see, it's a good thing because now we can share two different words. <laughs> oh, is that how we're going to justify uh -huh. it tonight? All right. So, in other words, what is going to happen is this side's not going to be shown <laughs> for quite some time. But this side is going to say be strong. And be strong is a really... <laughs> Cody says no power tools. <laughs> be strong is a really um, meaningful sentiment phrase to me right now um, since losing Aaron. It's something that her and I used to say to each other quite a bit. If you can't stay strong, stay caffeinated. She would frequently tell me to be strong. And it was honestly one of the, the very last words that she said to me before she passed. So pretty much anything that I see out there that says be strong, I'm buying. Or, or caffeinated. Or caffeine. <laughs> I don't, well, I was, when we were in New York, we went to Starbucks and we went there several times because we had the passcode to the bathroom. <laughs> When did you go? Like four times? <laughs> Within a couple of hours, four times. <laughs> we went to the, the Starbucks and we had the 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 passcode there. And I, I kept looking at the, the things and it says drink all the coffee. And I was like, I need this because Aaron and I always said all the coffee. And he was like, stop, just stop. <laughs> but it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Exactly. Okay, we'll tell you more about New York and what all happened there once we get started. We're going to switch our camera view so that you guys can see what's going on overhead. Uh, we did already get everything prepped for you guys, so Nate took the time to cut everything out. Well, I cut some, you cut some. Mm -hmm. And we did space everything out. We'll go through the whole entire thing um, with you. I'm going to start with doing the Be Strong on the inside of the box. Coffee's disgusting. Tracy, we can't be friends. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. But you guys like wine, so... All right. All right. We shared a different story. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I should get her the the up um the wine transfer. No, 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 no. The wine coffee. The coffee wine. The co um apothic brew. Yes, from New York. No, apothic brew, the the wine that's actually coffee. The coffee that's actually wine. Oh. Don't you remember that I got that? No. Okay. He doesn't pay attention. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um we could go into the man eyes and the man hearing, but we'll save that for another time tonight. All right, so what we're doing um, tonight, guys, is we're grabbing our transfer tape, the letters that we want to use, and <clears throat> we're going to measure everything out. So these boards, if you got the kit, they're in, the in, interior of the board is six and a half inches by 18 and a half inches. However, if you're working on the back side, and if you want to start on the back, that's totally fine as well, if, depending on what you want to do. We're going to do both tonight. We'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. Um, the back is 20 inches. Uh, I'm panicking. 20. Okay. Tw 10 by 20? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, you sure it wasn't 8 by 20? Well, Pretty sure it's 8 by 20. Maybe it was 8 by 20. <laughs> Grab your tape measure, guys. <laughs> yeah, 8. That's what I said the first time. You turned that heat up, and now I'm like, oh, it's been freezing in here. Mm -hmm. And now we're live, and he turned the heat turn the heat up and I'm like whoa it's hot okay so what you're gonna want to do is measure your surface that you're working with if you're working with the kit you already know it's 8 by 20 depending on the word that you're using the last name or whatever it is that you're working with um, you want to start with the center letter all right so if you have an even number and there's not a center letter like be strong the T happens to be the center um, <laughs> Heidi, I don't always drink coffee, but when I do, <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna start with that. The other thing that with this font, these letters we're gonna measure. We're not measuring each individual letter. We're gonna show you how these letters all work together. But each letter in the transfer is four inches from top of the transfer to bottom of the transfer. Now I know you're probably cutting them out by hand, and there may be a little bit of a wobble. We're not worried about that because the biggest thing we're gonna be lining up are these half moon circles as we go through the process. Um, we're gonna be drying the letters in between and I really just wanna dive in, but I also don't wanna leave out any important steps. So that's part of the reason why Nate is here because <laughs> he's going to stop me and say, hey, make this more idiot proof. I'm, I'm learning along with you all, so. <laughs> um, All right, so. We know that the T is the center. One of the things that we did, and I will show you guys here, we're going to do B strong. Obviously, there is not an H in 
be strong. But what we decided to show you with for the sake of lining things up and making this as easy as possible for you all is that this is going to give us the most um, accurate spacing that we found because the width of the widest letter in this entire transfer or in this entire sentiment is the N. And the N and the H are exactly the same width. They almost look exactly the same. If you cut off the top of the H, you have another N, right? Yep. So um, we're using that for our spacing to continue a completely even line. We're not going to chalk the H. However, Nate is here for idiot proofing. That is correct. Um, because, <laughs> well, I'm, I, not because you're the idiot. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's not because you're the idiot. You uh, you are it's because I'm learning along with everyone, so I you know I might have questions or do things that our beginner might do, like chalk on the actual backing of the transfer. Yep, did it tonight. <laughs> he was practicing with some chalk I'll paste. Show him. I'll go, go ahead, get it. go get it. It'll be fun while I get this set up. All right, so the T is the center. If you want to get really precise, which most of you do, you're gonna to want to grab your tape measure, and we are going to have it be like I said. This board is eight inches. These are four inches. That means there should be approximately, wait, eight inches, four inches. There should be, I'm doing the wrong side, darn it. Yeah. I, I just realized that. I'm like, wait, that's not what we discussed. Well, while you fix that, I'll show them this. All right, you show them, because i got to turn this backing around. Transfer. Oh, here we go. So yes. that's the backing sheet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Looks good, though, right? We're flipping this around. This is the side we're doing Be Strong on because this is the side that I weren't showing most until, you know, legally, that is. <laughs> Go in ahead. My, in my heart. In your heart. We're there. In your heart. It's just not on your finger yet. <laughs> Tracy, you handle this one. <laughs> okay. Um, six and a half inches on the inside, four inches. So that means there needs to be about an inch and a quarter on each side of the transfer. So here we go. We're going to pull out our transfer tape and we're going to go all the way across at approximately an inch and a quarter, but I'm going to double check. Our transfer tape is totally removable, repositionable. And this is what the actual half moons are going to get chalked on. So I'm just going to, I'm eyeballing. I'm, I'm like the queen of eyeballing. I am not, um, I'm not very, what's the word I'm looking for? Precise <laughs> ever. Okay. But you guys can kind of take a look here. So, um, one and a quarter inches is there and that's where we're going to want our half moons to fall. So somewhere in the midst of here, as long as it's the same all the way across. So what we're going to do is just double check to see kind of all the way across if the line of the tape is where it's supposed to be. All right. And I'm really pretty darn good at eyeballing. Look how straight this line is. Look how straight I got a little, it's a little high there. It's a little high. Look how straight this is. I'm just saying. Okay. We're getting a little off track here. Just a little. So where it's just a little bit off, we're just going to pull it down. And we're measuring all the way across just to make sure that we have that one and a quarter inches. And I totally jacked that up right there. But we're not, you know, we're not going all the way to the edge of the board. So does it have to go all the way to the edge? Because we're not going all the way to the edge with any of these. For measurement's sake, you probably want to go close if you're really a perfectionist. See, I'm about the handmade feel. Hmm. What? Well, they may take measures for a reason. I know. <laughs> I'm... Just, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so here we go. And we want about one and a quarter inches uh, on the top as well, which, like I said, we're wanting the half circles to fall in. So this has to be somewhere in between those two um, so that the half circles fall in that one and a quarter inch. And I'm just gonna, we'll double check to make sure that I did think this through all the way correctly and measure this right. Babe, I can't measure and do this live like this. It works a lot better when we were showing it beforehand, <laughs> when we were just sitting here doing it together. Okay, so the one and a quarter inch is right in the center there. It's at the one inch line, and it should go all the way across 
about one inch. So when we got off track. So wherever we start getting off track, we're just gonna reposition our tape. And this is like washi tape that ha that has the um, quarter inch and inch markings. So you can really continue, even though it's not um, an exact tape measure, you can continue to see how far your spacing is with each one. Am I missing any questions or anything that are coming up? Or are we good? Okay. So this is to have our top and bottom guide. And this is just, this is for those who really want to make completely um, stay positive two lines suggestions. I don't know that you'll be able to do stay positive with this font inside this box, Tracy, because of how big the letters are. But you could probably do it on the reverse side. And if you're doing two lines, you're going to want to I'm trying to think of how to explain that best. Because apparently I'm not very good at explaining <laughs> That's not what I said. No, actually, that's exactly what you said. Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe, okay. Um, but I know what you actually meant. Um, I'm trying to think of how to explain that, though, quickly for her two lines. Because you're going to want them to slightly overlap. You're going to have to deci determine... I don't know how to tell her to determine that on here. We can talk to her after. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we could do it at... Okay, she's going to try. She's just like, I'm going for it. <laughs> there you go, Tracy. There you go. That's the attitude well, that's that a have. good thing about the chalk, too. If, you know, if you don't like it, you can always just clean it up. And... Yeah, you can clean it up and go at it again completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in to the center, which is of this one. What did we say? Of the inside of this? We need it to be at um, nine and a quarter inches. So nine and one quarter inches is the center, and that's where we want our T to be. And we should be able to get, the, oh, the moons don't quite line up on the tape like I thought they would. What's do to the top moon? Huh? Do the top. Well, then they're not going to be even. We need the tape all the way across. See what I'm saying? It should have been, we should have measured from the bottom of it and put the tape on. We tried, tested this ahead of time to be foolproof for you guys. Okay. We can still wipe it away, though. It'll be fine. We're going to go on here. We're going to start with the letter T right from the center. And remove the backing sheet. Remove the backing sheet. Mm -hmm. Fuzz them if they're brand new. Fuzzing means stick them on your pant leg or on a towel or something along those lines. And I lost my measurement because we were talking. It's right there. That's the line I need. So our T is going in the center. We look like messes here, babe. <laughs> we look like messes. But it's going to turn out perfect. So Yeah, I'm going to actually go instead of... If I go from the top of this, do we really want it to line up on the transfer tape? That's really what I want it to do. So we're going to go from the top of the transfer tape, okay. which is one inch, one inch along the top of the board. Uh, I should have, I was thinking we needed it to be in the center, but we don't. We need it to be at the top of the transfer tape. It's fine. We're going to go with this. If not, we can get, go get help, get help later. Here, there you go. Okay. Here we go. Um, we're gonna do our T first. Where's our paste? I have everything out. And we're gonna um, chalk each letter one at a time as we go. And we're going to actually swipe the half circles to line up as we go through. I just swiped off the board completely. I'm getting all kinds of fluster here. So here's the deal. If you swipe off the board and you make a mistake, as you go between each letter, we can clean up, which is why I said have some water and paper towels handy. Because <clears throat> we want to be able to do this. Can you just dip that in the water for me? Beautiful thing about chalk couture. Okay? Any place that you have an oops. These half circles, they wipe completely away. If you're not using the um, the tape, and it's fine, all right? So we're gonna um, dry off the letters in between each one. Can we use a hair dryer? You, yeah, thing? absolutely, use a hair dryer. It's honestly an amazing way to go. Um, and 
it doesn't have to be completely, completely dry, but I definitely want it to um, be set for best results, okay? So you'll be able to tell it's dry basically by seeing that it has more of a matte finish. It doesn't look shiny at all. And you can touch it. And the paste does dry really, really quickly. All right. So then we're going to continue to work from one side to the next. I'm going to make sure that my circles line up right at the top, right? I'm going to plus, press it down. That circle, you can see it meets that edge of that circle by looking really, I mean, you probably can't see it on the video, but the, the circles meet here and here. I don't know how closely you can see that. Okay, it's lined up with the top of the, pa uh, the transfer tape and I'm not explaining things very well as they were in my head and when I wrote out the instructions, which hopefully everybody that got the thing got. I sent them by email to the email address that um, was included with your PayPal payment. So, I want to talk about other things tonight as well as we go through this. So you can see there, I'll give you that, the circles at the top on the trick tape make a complete circle. Um, okay, so you won't be able to line up the circles, Heidi, by doing them all at the exact same time. The circles don't... Um, so if I was trying to like basically do... Hold on each letter so let's just say I was doing the word sun okay and I was trying to make the circles line up the O transfer part overlaps on the N so the same situation here to make those circles actually match up the edge of the transfer overlaps over the letters so we can't actually do them all at one time like that does that make sense so it's definitely not a stupid question um, but I don't know how else you'd be able to line it up completely that way. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, New York City was awesome. We were invited into the city. He took the day off of work. We were invited by um, one of the producers at the Rachel Ray Show. He invited us down. He was somebody that I was in contact with oh by the way Tracy and anybody else doing this for the first time we marked each letter on the back with a marker I did not show this every letter is marked so that once you wash them off and you go to put them back on you're not trying to play puzzle pieces with which width goes to which thing the s goes on the s etc 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 okay so hopefully that helps you and if you've already started maybe you can slow down and go check that part piece back out um, okay so we were invited into New York City by the producer at the Rachel Ray show um, if you look here too just real quickly the top of the transfer is on the paste like I did measure it right I just didn't place the tape mm -hmm. at the edges of each of the four inches so the measurement is still correct I just wanted the circles to line up on the tape and I didn't measure that correctly for that you want the edge of the transfer to be at one edge of the tape or the other so that you get the an, an additional guide or yeah. checkpoint for your for your measuring. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, anyway, so we got to go in to New York City. We got there, what, around 11 o'clock in the morning, babe? Yeah, we left the house around, what, 8.30, right? Yeah. Um, my mom kept, well, his dad kept the kids and my mom kept the kids. They sort of did a, a swap and switch. Um, situation which we were super thankful for um i guess you don't have to do the circles on the bottom you, you just have to be able to get the next line so you don't have to make sure all the circles are done just saying because they're getting erased anyway um and we got into the city and we went over and we checked in over at the show and um they basically were like um yeah we've got you ready to um you know chat with tommy and um you know come in for an airing and watch the show being taped and all of that 
good stuff. And um, we were pretty excited about that. Uh, they basically told us, they were like, go, go get lunch and then come back and um, you'll be a part of our last show. She taped three shows that day and you'll be a part of the last show of the day. I'm going to move over to my S just because I want my O to dry, but I want to just keep talking and not be doing that the whole time. Um, so we, uh, went over to, we walked over to the Empire State Building because the Empire State Building actually really is not very far from Rachel Ray's studio. And he had never been to the city before, so it was like a very first time. Yeah, I've been all around it, but never been in it. Yeah. Um, help? Words? I don't have them. I'm trying to get, <laughs> I'm trying to like get to my next thing here. Um, so we, we, what do we have for lunch? I can't remember the name of the place. Well, it was the Empire State. Um, it was the Empire State Building. It was like the, it was some brewer, brewery. I can't remember the name of it. It's called Empire State something. Yeah. Um, but they had like awesome, like they do their own custom brews and stuff there, which is really, really um, a lot of fun. So we had lunch there and then we came back, um, back over to the show after lunch and we got everything all um, checked in and and um, situated. We actually got to meet meet with Tommy and one of the other um, producers before we even went into the show. We saw um, Theo from the Cosby show, Malcolm Jamal Warner. He like walked right out in front of us and I was like, <laughs> look where we are. And he was like, I don't even know who that is. And it was just kind of a funny thing. Um, but we got into the got into the show. We were like what the third people they mm -hmm. let in and had this whole um, fun little experience. It was pretty cool because uh, Rachel's husband <coughs> happened to be co-hosting the show that day. We can talk about that. It well, just made me more comfortable being here with, with everybody you guys. here. Yeah. It was just kind of cool um, to see because you know Rachel's well, kind of. An, what? Go ahead. Well, she's a perfectionist, and you know he makes mistakes like I do, and it just made me feel good that I'm not the only one. You're going through it. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Why does the O look higher? Because the circles are matched. The N is a little bit off. You see that? The O looks a little bit higher, but it's not. It might just look like it. Just looks like it, even though it's not. Yeah. I'm being a perfectionist now. Mm -hmm. Even though normally I'm like, just slap it on. Line it up however. Um, so anyway, it was really funny because we got in there and they have, um, basically like they have like crowd getter go winners. Basically. I don't know what you actually, their official titles are. So for the H guys, we're not, we're not doing the H in between. This is the spacer lettering and we're just doing it to have the circle guides. So I'm just lining up the circles for the H here. Anyway, um, so he came in and he explained kind of the process of how the show was going to be recorded, you know, when to applaud, when to, you know, say ums and ahs and all of that stuff. Was it upside down? That's what I did. Heidi's right. I did my O upside down. Oops. Somebody could have pointed that out before mm -hmm. I pasted it. I'm like, the O looks high and I don't know why because the circles line up. That's why. All right. Well... It was upside down. Make sure your letters are the same thing. Mm -hmm. Good thing we taught them that. Mm-hmm. Touch something. We did that on purpose just yep. to show you something. All right. So we're doing the circles, half circles for the spacing. And we can go back and redo our O. It's not a big deal. All right. So H is only for the circles. We'll go. We'll finish with the G over here. I think we could. No, the end's not dry. We'll go. In, we'll, we'll move on. We'll move forward. Um, so he came in, and it was really funny because you know Nate is. How, how do I describe you, babe? To uh, other people, very you're wonderful good looking and I know, intelligent. So freaking <laughs> handsome and so funny. Um, he's a little bit more shy around public situations. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing. No, but once you get to know him, he's like, he kind of doesn't shut up. <laughs> Ask Heidi. Or Cody. 
or Kayla. They've all experienced it. Tracy. Tracy would know too. Um, anyway, so the, the, the show getter going are saw mm -hmm. Nate as like the perfect opportunity to literally, you, <laughs> you texted me, but you didn't want to point it out live. Mm -hmm. My phone is what is above mm -hmm. head to video this. Uh, oh, well, such is life. Um, I'm glad you noticed. See, we were testing you. Um, she passed. She <laughs> <laughs> so he definitely picked Nate out of the crowd. There's not very many guys that go to recordings of the Rachel Ray show. Yeah, about three. <laughs> <laughs> and so he gave Nate a dollar right off the bat. Like he was the first guy he like, you know, pointed him out and gave him a dollar and then proceeded to inform everybody at the show that, you know, sometimes when these gentlemen show up, they like to have a dance off. A dance off. So I about died because first of all, getting him to even dance at home around me after a couple beers is like next to impossible. And I was like, there's no way in heck. And I totally had this moment. Yes, Nate, not quiet. No, he's not. It's just he's he's more reserved around the general population, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Um, not everybody can be this completely ridiculous, outgoing person like I am. However, this is where we this is where we are different. I'm going to have a time out here to tell a little story. So about um what four months ago, we took a trip to the mountains where Nate grew up. Um, his dad has a property cabin camper. Um, I'll, we'll go back to that, that story in a moment, Tracy. Um, so he has, he's, he's nature Nate. I mean, he is Mr. Outdoors. My biggest fear in life is quite literally, and this is off. I, it's off somewhere. It's off. Where, where did I miss my measurement? I went crooked there when I said, screw it. And I readjusted it. Okay. We're going to continue the line with the circles where they're at up here though. Cause that'll, that's straight. We measured that all the way across. So we're going to just continue with that. Um, so we decide we just are taking a little weekend. We didn't have the kids. We went by ourselves and he grew up there and has always wanted to see what, what have you always wanted to see up there? I always wanted to see a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake. Okay. So my biggest fear and phobia in life are snakes completely and totally petrified of snakes <laughs> um so i mean we we if you were going to like seriously like put us in a situation like him holding snakes having snakes around me talking about snakes like that's cause for divorce right there i don't care that we're not legally married yet that's cause for divorce right there so he has assured me he has never in all of his near 40 some odd years up there ever seen a rattlesnake and I have no reason to be worried whatsoever. Well, it's true. I, it's definitely true. So the situation is we go and here's our sign. And I'm going to go ahead and read you that. Oh, once it, once we wash it off, but we're going to move on tonight. So we're not spending all night here. Just know, make sure your letters aren't upside down like I did. And then with those little half circles, you just need a little bit of water and you wash it off. So anyway, we're on a hike through this place called Bear Meadows. It sounds like a beautiful place, Bear Meadows, right? Yeah. Okay. So we decided to take the dog and we go for a little walk. We're walking through the woods and lo and behold, what do we see? It was just a stick that was black that just made noise. It, it made a lot. It <laughs> coiled up and it shook really hard. And I swear to you, it was going to eat us alive. <laughs> and I was going to die there on that mm -hmm. trail Swallow that day. I was going to die. That was coming after, too. I, it was amazing. I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> Even though it's sitting there very still, it's still coming right, Listen, right after. he decides to poke it with a stick, all right, <laughs> and get it on video while I'm hyperventilating, and he thought the dog was choking. No, no, no. That was Megan hyperventilating. Anyway, so the whole point of the story is my moment of absolute fear happened in the woods with a rattlesnake, and his words to me were, oh, my gosh, if we see another one, I know she's never going back in the woods with me again. Those were his words to me. Like I, I, she'll never, she'll never go in the woods with me again. And he would have been right. If we would have seen another one, that would have been the absolute end of Megan ever going camping or up there again. Forget the hunting, forget everything else. 
literally as we're sitting there in the studio at Rachel Ray and they're like, dance off. I'm like, oh my gosh, if they make this man dance, he's going to divorce me. <laughs> he's never doing anything on air with me ever again. And it was like a flashback of the entire situation in reverse. I'm like, you tell me to dance. I'm great. But that was like his rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. Pretty much happened right there at Rachel Ray's studio. And I danced and I was really good. They might have hurt. Okay, maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Okay, so we have our B-Strong. So you can see you have the proper spacing on both sides. The T is still in the center and everything. Please ignore that O. That's going to drive me crazy. Can I have the O? We'll fix it. Oh, I cannot believe I had it upside down. Oh, wait, I totally erased all the circles already. <laughs> Some workshop, right? Okay, but here's the deal. People make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes at home, but they do erase away. With Chalk Couture, they do erase away, and that's pretty darn amazing. But we really do have spacing all the way across. That O makes it look like the whole thing's crooked, but it's not. Or it's okay, and we'll fix it later. Either one of the I two. No. Between the technical difficulties and then having me not pay attention because I was all flustered, it happens. Anyway, you're going to do the other side, right? Yeah. Are you ready to do this thing? Okay, so if I can, like, do this and not completely screw it up, and we're going to repeat letters, so we're going to have to make sure that um, you don't get over-pasted so that you can replace, because there's way too many E's in this last name. <laughs> I was waiting for him to say something smart back to me, but he didn't. No, it's on tip of my tongue. Oh, Cindy, yes. Uh, that air, that show is going to air on Thursday, October 8th. Um, would definitely love for you guys to check it out because you will definitely see us both in the audience. You will? What? Um, nothing. Just smiling. You're just smiling? Mm -hmm. I don't think he's he's very thrilled about that. But yes, you can definitely see. Oh, good. Good, Tracy. Okay. Are you going to start this? And we're going to switch seats. Switcheroo. Do you know how to line it up? Do you remember what we're doing? Nope. All right, one word is definitely a whole heck of a lot easier, um, especially for beginners. And you can use both sides of the sign, which is pretty darn awesome. Remember the center of the B is at four inches, right? This one's, is it 10? 10 for this one? Mm -mm. Eight. So it's four inches should be dead center. The center of the B should be at the four. Okay. Okay. And so... We're lining that up, and we're going to start with the uh, placement of the tape, which is what we really should have gotten right the first time, the other way around. Do you remember what we're doing here? Yep. That's center of the B, right there. All right. So if that's the center of the B, we're going to just, we're going to eyeball across the top here, and which is what kind of got me in trouble the first time, but we're going to go across the top, and then I want you to measure all the way across to make sure it's even. Okay. Get it as even as you can. It's not even, so. Okay. It should be about two inches from Switch the top of the tape. Close. Is it? Well, it should be about two inches to get the top of the tape where it needs to be. <laughs> you were closer than I was. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, distance is one thing I am pretty decent at um, eyeballing. Uh, did I say October? I meant November. We are at the end of October. Thank you, Denise. Denise has been my, my live personal calendar recently. She has pointed out multiple times when I have misspoken. And it was actually really funny because when we were at Rachel Ray, she kept saying one of her one of her guests' names wrong. And I was like, see, I'm not the only one who just continuously misspeaks because you get in your head and you're going on to the next thing and when you're doing the, the thing with the thing and you're live and it just happens. We're all human. So thank you for helping me keep it together. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right. So then the bottom should be the two inches as well from the... What do you think? What are you doing? Double checking. Double checking what? Okay, I'm going to let him double check his things with things because, I mean, this is his thing now, right? I, the, the, the teacher has taught. Now the, now the creations. You're saying two inches from the bottom? Well, make sure that, look, if, like, let's, let's 
let's double do this the right way because this is how it should have been done right the first time. Where's the tape at? Ah. So if it's two inches from the top there, just go ahead and like eyeball and make sure that it's in the center and that the bottom of it is at the bottom of the transfer. So what is that about? Like measure right there. Is it two inches? I'm sorry, you guys see my elbow in your faces. Is it two inches? It should be two inches. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is make sure that the bottom of the transfer or bottom of the tape, that's not even at all. Is about two inches and if you you can get a level you can get a laser level and really really go crazy with it yes see that's exactly yes well that's why you're gonna become my personal assistant as um, things continue to grow and progress forward here are we two inches across yeah. all the way because that doesn't look right still. See, look, it's, a, it's the bottom of the, I guess it doesn't matter. Because he has one and a half inches, not two inches. Well, to the top is two inches. No, the bottom should be at two inches, right? So that the, the circles are all the way lined up, foolproof. Okay, fine, you line them up just fine then. That's fine. Because I that's what I was trying to show you guys to begin with, and I got all ahead of myself, and then it didn't line up top and bottom. 10 inches center. Is it? Right? Mm -hmm. So this is to get the most even and professional. So are you lining up all the transfers along the bottom or along, along the top? The okay, along the bottom works. As long as you keep it consistently across, yes. it'll be fine. Look how amazing. Yes, uh, Kelly, the PDF was sent out basically to tell you these steps of where to measure and put your marks. You're using this color. If, if you want to use a different color, that's fine. This is just the one everybody got in their kit, so I wanted it, them to see. Don't forget to peel it off the backing sheet, babe. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I have to re-measure that. Well, that's what I had to do before. Um, the PDFs were all sent out, so if you check your email, the email that you sent with PayPal, used to pay PayPal, I can post it inside the She Makes Club after we're done being live, too. Do you want me to peel it? Yeah, I don't have nails. Okay. You actually shouldn't even need nails to do it. You just kind of roll it with your finger. Okay. I'm sorry. sorry. And it, it was kind of funny because even when they were doing something, he was using one of her kitchen tools, and she's like, I designed this to do it this way, and he's like, oh, boy. It was funny. It was funny. You can watch the show. Double check. Yep. Four. You can always Four. measure multiple times. Ten. Okay, there's center. Okay. Gray. Gray. So we'll show. We'll, we will show you the complete. Okay. Um. You got it. So basically guys, just to like recap what you're supposed to do, you want to measure the surface that you're working on. You want to keep in mind that the letters of this transfer, no matter whether you're using the uppercase or the lowercase, they're four inches from top of transfer to bottom, but that's not always going to be even because you're hand cutting it out. You want to make sure more than anything that your half moon circles line up to create a full complete circle and that your letters are dry between each step. For ideal placement, which we both failed at doing completely tonight, is making sure that the top of your uh, transfer placement tape, what are you doing, what do you mean? I'm gonna make it like this. Um, the top of your transfer tape and the bottom of your transfer tape line up inside those four inches. So you could really just measure the four inches inside of there as well. But as long as you continue to cons consistently line up either the top edge the same or the bottom edge the same, they're just additional guides. You don't have to use the tape at the top and the bottom. The tape at the top is fine. We're using it as an additional guide point and we're doing the circles, the half circles, all the way across to continue that additional guide point as well. Um, as we're going through, what we're doing too is, if you see us reaching over here, we just have a foil roaster pan and this is what I put all I put some water in and all the transfers go in until we're completely done creating. 
That way I can just take them out to the kitchen, rinse them the rest of the way off, wipe them off with the disinfectant wipe, let them dry, sticky side up, Looks and like I'm dry it right there, the thingy thing. Um, let them dry sticky side up, and you can put them right back onto the backing sheet. Like I said, marking the backing sheet with the letter that you're using is the absolute best way to go. Um, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be. You just you don't want it to peel up when you, when you place the other transfer down because the the edges of the transfer will overlap some, which is why you can't do all the letters at once to line up these circles. So, hopefully, we're explaining things the way we intended to when we planned this two months ago. And of course, when I sit down and craft and create, I don't necessarily always use the placement tape. I'm just like, oh, this looks good. And you can see, I mean, I have to give myself a little bit of credit here, and I know this is not everybody's skill set. So, but you can see, like, even my eyeballing, it's off by very little bits, is it not? Yeah. So, other than my O on the other side, <laughs> that's because I had it upside down. I'm like, why is this so off? Silly me. Um, oh, no problem, Kelly. Do you guys have any questions at all? Please, please, please ask, ask, ask. We are happy to answer. If we don't have the answer, we will find the answer or point you in the right direction. Babe, if you just want to go over to the other E, I can do that. and that way you can keep back, back and forth so you don't have to spend too much time drying if you go on each side. Um, and you're going to have to use the E is the only letter we have to double use, right? I Three can't times, yeah. think, yeah. Triple use. Trip. Don't, 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 because you're going to use it so many times. You don't have to fuzz it. And it's on wood. Well, I shouldn't say you don't have to, but don't, because it's on wood and you got, you got this. The more um, non-porous surfaces, like the wood, you don't necessarily have to fuzz as rigorously. Um, in addition, it could, you just want to keep in mind that the, um, the uh, paste could stain the wood just because it's a little bit more porous um, but other than that it washes away and you could see like we did the circles right on the wood and that washed completely away so but just some of the colors sometimes the pigment which is why that transfer tape is really good um, it could just leave a little discoloration it's not gonna stay on there like a full paste but just keeping that in mind and sincerely any 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 questions at all please 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 ask you're using the bottom as the bed? Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. All right, so how do we do the next E? Okay, so basically all you're gonna do is just wipe away some of the excess on there. Here, give me your... So basically I'm just going to wipe off some of the excess on there so that anything that um, is already on the back of the transfer, that'll just kind of fade away and we'll, we'll clean up any, any oopses with a Q-tip at the end. So now you're just going to line it up over there, but just try to be conscious of the fact that there's already paste on there and you should be just fine. Just fine. Wiping away any excess. Um, I like using the all capitals of this font because everything just justifies so beautifully, aligns so beautifully. Do you have a cure for dorkfishness? I ruined my first transfer, not these letters. Um, how did you ruin it? In what way was it ruined? Was it, did it stick to itself? It's just kind of being cautious as you go. And if it sticks to itself, running it under cool water and gently pulling it apart seems to help. And if it starts to lose its stick because of that, my little trick with that, <clears throat> 
is to grab some Elmer's spray adhesive. This is a multi-purpose spray adhesive. I got this one at Hobby Lobby, but you can get it online. There's different places that have it. It's the Elmer's multi-purpose because it's a repositionable one when you wait for it to dry. Now I don't ever spray this directly on my transfers. I spray it onto the surface that I'm going to be chalking. It will wash away. We can touch up that E too. Some of the paste dried on top of the E and he pulled that up. So you can see there's a little blank space there because some of the paste stuck to the top, it dried. It twisted on itself, it removed the sticky. Okay, so yeah. Um, where's my, I'm like losing my mind here. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Um, so, yeah, that can sometimes happen if it twists on itself and then it lose some of its, its stick. So the best trick that I have for that is don't throw out the transfer. I have it, just give me one second. Um, is to actually uh, refreshen it by using that Beclu spray, that spray adhesive, and use it on the thing. So if we were, say, doing this for, what do you need? Oh, you need a paper towel? Because apparently we need more paper towels in our lives. I thought I had a whole roll in here. I have a roll, but there's only two paper towels on the roll. I'm literally using the stuff that's stuck on the <laughs> roll as my paper towel right now. Hand alive. Okay. Um, hopefully that helps, Kelly. It ate some of the words. Oh, okay. So if it ate some of the words, that's... There's not a lot that you can you can do with that. Um, however, what transfer is it, Kelly? If you let me know, um, I I work with my my clients completely, and I will I will help you out because there's nothing worse than a wasted transfer. You know, you do want to be careful, and sometimes it does happen. But um, if you tell me what transfer it was, we'll I'll get you taken care of with it from that standpoint because that's past the point of no return. Which, by the way, we did see Phantom of the Opera while we were in New York City. You're doing a great job, babe. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Is that spelled right? I don't know. <laughs> it's not my last name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. The home definition. I, I just was curious which transfer um, it was because I want to get that back. I, I, I'll get it out to you. I'll get another one out to you. We'll figure it out together. Oh. Tracy said that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's not like he doesn't give me a hard time every day of my life. <laughs> and here's a cool tip for everybody who is building their Chalk Couture transfer collection. Some of these transfers are very large. Some of them you cut down and they're smaller and they can go in albums and folders. I definitely love having a three ring binder to put the uh, B size and smaller transfers in or transfers that we cut up. But one of the things that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby is an artist portfolio. I'm gonna hold it behind Nate's head like a Vanna White style. This is one of the large ones. This one is 21 inches by 27 inches. And it's got some stiffness to it that I can take our larger transfers, for example, before the font is all cut up. It can slide right inside here. It has a zipper pouch as well. It slides right in here and I can organize all of my larger transfers C, C, D, E size transfers in here. I'm planning on doing a Facebook Live because I want to put my Chalk Couture logo on it. I'm going to actually 
ink and permanently put the logo on here. And um, I'll show you how I organize that a little bit later on, but it's a pretty cool thing. So um, I used the 50% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. They're $14 full price, but I got it for seven. And um, I think that's a pretty awesome thing. We're gonna switch seats. Oh, I'm back in my seat. I feel so much more in control here. <laughs> Tracy said I chose him. You did. <laughs> it's not too late. It is. It's too late. It's too late. I'm already. I'm here. I told him when when this all happened and it all went down and we did pretty much commit to forever together, no matter what. Um, I was like, you know what? Even if forever together didn't work, I ain't leaving. So you're gonna have to deal with me anyway. So. It's a deal. Yeah. It's forever. It is forever. It's just not officially on paper or on the finger. Either way, it's purchased. It's just not on the finger. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. He says. I know I'm a pain in his butt too. Okay, so you can see it's all lined up. It looks amazing. You did such a great job. It actually looks way better than mine because my O's jacked up. <laughs> So oh. <laughs> maybe we'll we'll have to just use this side. <laughs> she did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> A burn. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna. You can actually scratch away once it dries. It actually hardens, so you can wipe it away, scratch it away, either way. Um, and I want to fix that e, but I already closed this. And the only the way I'm going to fix it. Thank you guys for the love and the hearts and the care. We do appreciate it. Um, can I have the little paintbrush? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush to touch it up, just right at the very bottom. It's very this one. Yeah, that's fine. This is the other thing you can do with chalk couture is actually paint with it. I am not a freehand artist. I'm not. That's why I love chalk couture because I don't have to be. I don't have to have fancy handwriting. I don't have to, he's had all the hints in the world. I'm, I'm not, I'm only teasing him at this point. There is no, there is no further need for hinting. We know where it stands. <laughs> I know where I stand. It's fine. He did give me a ring. He did. So there is that. For anybody who's like, man, this is dysfunction at its height. No, it's really not. <laughs> We're just picking on each other. Um, so you can paint with the chalk couture paste as well, and it will harden into a matte finish chalk. It is a water-based chalk that hardens, and it's amazing, and it will wash away. Um, we can redo this any which way we want to. Um, which do you think would work better to chalk on, the wall or use the banner? Either way. Um, I've seen people chalk on walls. The only thing that I ever get concerned about is you want, I would definitely recommend and suggest testing whatever color that you want to use, depending on the like wall makeup and the paint that you have. I wouldn't want it to stain. Yes, it does wash really well and really clean away. Magic erasers, or we have special chalk couture erasers um, in our catalog. They work amazing at even getting the, the tougher stains out or any shadowing out. But I still would hate for somebody to go just full bore chalking on their white wall in yeah, like the, bright pink in the bright something. pink and then it not, it leaves some kind of shadow or stained mark because of the natural pigments in it. Um, that shouldn't happen, but I still just, I don't know, my own, my own cautiousness would just want to test it first. Um, just to be sure. But um, if you test it on a small area and it washes away, you can do it right on the wall. And I have, we have done it on the walls even here um, with some of the lighter colors, but it was tested first. And so I knew it wasn't gonna stain, but it does, you know, tables, I do it right on, you know, do it right on the table and right on um, the kitchen cabinets. It looked really cool to do mm -hmm. some chalking right on the kitchen cabinets, so. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Um, any other questions? We are just over an hour, even with all that. We still managed to keep it in the time frame that I said. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Well, at first you said eight to nine, and I, I was like, or eight to ten. I was like, two hours. You're like, no, no, no. We just want to start at eight and go over things until nine and then go live. Yes. 
I was like, okay, an hour is much better than two. <laughs> yes. See, we went over everything. We had everything all prepared, and then we still, Megan just needed it up. Is that a thing? I think I just <laughs> made it one. <laughs> like one <laughs> um, yes. Layers and colors look amazing together. Um, we could do layers on top of this. We're not going to do that tonight. But say we wanted to brighten this up a little bit and make it like a drop shadow, you could take one of the lighter colors, a white, or the buttermilk, or the cherry blossom would be beautiful, mm -hmm. and put the exact same transfers right over top, just slightly off to either the right or the left, make it like a drop shadow, and you can create beautiful multiple layers there. You're not having success with cleaning the letters. Okay, so the way we do it, Tracy, is um, run them underwater. We have a, a bowl or a basin. Can you hand me that again? Yeah. And make sure she knows too that it's not going to come off one hundred percent. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about like if there's some discoloration on the transfer, that's not a problem. Especially with the storm color, sometimes it does leave a little bit of like a residual shadow, um, look. But you just you just want to wash it off in the water. Most of it should come completely off. Um, grab a paper towel or a disinfectant wipe. Wipe off the the refreshing and keeping it really sticky. A disinfectant wipe works best on the sticky side. You just wipe them off with a Lysol or a Clorox wipe. Um, yeah, but Tracy, as long as you get the the, the screen silk clean is what you want to make sure you get. I feel like I'm dripping water and I'm not showing like in the front or the back here. Um, as long as you get that part cleaned off and then let it dry. So, did that help? I don't know exactly. I don't know the specifics of what you're struggling with, so sometimes I don't know if I'm answering the question you're actually asking. And when we let it dry, we usually put like a, a towel down, and we make sure we don't we do not put the sticky side down the towel. The sticky right. side stays up. Sticky side stays up, and then they go right back onto that backing sheet. Um, as excuse me, as soon as they're dry, and you don't want to leave them sit in water too long. Like you wouldn't want to put them in water and walk away overnight. But like just while you're crafting and creating, it's totally fine to leave them sit in the water. Um, and then just, you know, get off the rest of the the rest of the chalk, any excess or residue. <laughs> Type A was getting in the way. <laughs> Tracy, your ruby is showing again. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. She's like, what? Did, did we tell her about that? No. Oh. That's okay. So there are four different um, personality types that are, we've, we've learned them as gems. I have taught them as playing cards, um, but he has come to learn them as the gems as well. And there's the personality type of a ruby, an emerald, a pearl, and a sapphire. I am 1000% a sapphire with quite a bit of ruby in me. This one's all pearl with a little bit of emerald. So we're like opposite ends of the spectrum, which is why we work, because we balance each other out. And we happen to really have a lot of love and respect for each other, so it really works well. Um, but sometimes the emerald and the sapphire can, to can totally clash heads. Pearls and rubies definitely clash heads from time to time. And what um, the ruby personality type is, so something that comes out in me a lot, and uh, Tracy has the ruby personality, and sometimes Nate will say, you know, your ruby is showing. It doesn't mean anything bad. It just means... We're on the same page. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I spritzed water on here, so I'm just trying to, like, clean up some of those water, so I don't have watermarks on my board. Anyway. All right, guys, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this workshop. I'm sorry that it didn't quite work out in the event the way we planned and scheduled it but we got it shared we got it posted the all new by Megan Elizabeth site has been slowly rolling out we have decided uh, one of the big things that we did um, yes the Ruby with above Ruby studio as well see her worth is far mm -hmm. above rubies it's not a bad thing always sometimes we get in our own way the rubies can get in their own way a lot just saying because we we want it perfect we want it perfect <laughs> These Hebner boys are in trouble, Ruby. <laughs> yeah, because I think both of them are pretty much pearls. They need our our rubies to show. From time to time. <laughs> yes, <we do. laughs> 
All right, I'm going to continue on with the night. Um, we have made the decision. I know we had been, we started this Chalk Couture journey together as SteppingStoneDecor.com. Um, actually, last November, it's been almost a year since we first started that business together. And we did make it its own business, its own EIN, its own website, did everything that way. And over this last year and some, I have gone on kind of a crazy like personal journey of like trying to balance things more. I homeschool the kids, run the household, um, mm -hmm. have the different businesses going, do, doing QVC. Mm -hmm. Dogs, what? chickens. Yeah. Me. <laughs> like everything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love you. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's been it's been a lot. So one of the things that we really just decided was how can we. Um, I'm going to switch the view of this. How can we take all the things that we love and enjoy and are doing and really focus it in on what matters to us and to me and is fulfilling to me um, to kind of come to work and be able to share with you guys what I want to share from a crafting standpoint, a life standpoint, just encouragement and what's on my heart. So we really just decided to take all the years of what's been above Ruby Studio, the last year of what has been our life and business. And what I've had going for a long time is just myself as Megan Elizabeth um, and just and just pare it down and bring it all into one central home location. So going forward, um, we're going to have kind of a grand launch, grand opening release party that's going to start Black Friday. Um, for the last 10 years, I have done a 12 days of giveaways that start on Black Friday every year. That this year is going to be no less of an exception. We're going to be doing some really awesome things. We have over a thousand dollars in giveaways for Black Friday this year, including a Cricut Maker. We will be giving away a Cricut Maker as well, which is pretty darn exciting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Absolutely. So we're going to be giving away a Cricut machine. We're going to be giving away lots of chalk couture, um, Stampin' Up products, all kinds of things. You're going to see Nate. He's one thousand percent a part of this. Um, but he's really kind of, as we've discussed it, just kind of gotten on board and behind me and really allowing me to be myself, mm -hmm. pursue my dreams and what I love with QVC, um, on-air presenting, guest appearances on national television shows, all kinds of good stuff like that. So um, we just thought for the sake of people being able to find, even though Above Ruby Studio has been a brand for a long time, you'll still be able to find it. Um, there's still going to be cricket ed education, yeah, Nate looks thrilled, doesn't he? <laughs> he forgets to smile sometimes when I'm talking. <laughs> he talked for an hour straight. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth hurts. <laughs> <sighs> Your emerald showing. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. All right. Um, I guess that's about it. I, I lost track of what I was saying. But anyway, everything is now one central location. location. So you can visit the blog. All of the weekly Tuesday tutorials, we're working on adding in some fun Monday moments. That'll be a little bit more of us sharing life, stuff like what happened at Rachel Ray. We actually have a really cool um, company that came to us. They saw that we were doing videos together, and should I tell them who it is or yeah. what it's about? So they actually came to Nate and I together, and they were like, we love you guys. They think he's great. I don't know what they see in him, but that's <laughs> fine. Um, but it's actually a really cool outdoors company. Um, and it's called Groove Life, and they have some really awesome things that uh, they wanted us to share with you guys. So we thought it would be really fun to share in some Monday moments, and we'll just share stuff about our life. We have an amazing life together, mm -hmm. love our dogs, love our chickens, love our home, and um, we just want to invite you guys in and share encouragement and hope and inspiration for you the best that we can and continue to educate you in how to use your Cricut, have fun with crafting, and things like tonight as well. So um, everything is still... As is, I'm still demonstrating for Chalk Couture. I'm still demonstrating with Stampin' Up. Um, sharing my love for the Cricut and all things crafting. The She Makes Club is going strong. Monthly workshops and giveaways every single month. So much fun there. Um, but it's just instead of having 8,000 different social media accounts. Because, well, how many do we actually have? We count at 17? Yeah. I had 17 different social media accounts going. We're going to start closing down some of the social media profiles and put it all into one and it's kind of it's a slow process to kind of just keep it one consi consistent by Megan Elizabeth brand by Megan Elizabeth was actually its own product line seven years ago I was gonna say six, but seven, yeah. yeah six or seven years ago um, 
by Megan Elizabeth was a paper scrapbooking crafting line all to itself and Tracy's sending us pictures I should grab the the camera and see it um and so it's something that's always been around obviously it is my name and even when I do take Hebner if it ever happens I'm still just going to be Megan Elizabeth so it doesn't change Nice. Fits me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he messes it up too because I've always been Meg my entire life. My initials have been my name. And now he's going to make me meh. I don't know <laughs> if I can be a meh. 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 Oh. <laughs> Stop it now. I don't even know what to do with that. All right. So maybe I won't take his name in it. We can just go on with life. You still use your inkers? That's awesome. The ink edgers. All right, guys. Well, we're at an hour and 15 minutes, which isn't too bad, all things considered. Stop it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look. <laughs> I didn't say it. You didn't say it, but they all felt it. <laughs> yeah. All across the social webs, they felt it. They felt the look. All right, guys. Um, enjoy the moments. We'll be seeing you again soon. You can definitely continue to check out Above Ruby Studio or Stepping Stone Decor. But everything... Yeah, see? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Um, everything will be at buymeganelizabeth.com. So all the links are starting to come up. You're going to see some changes, some branding. You'll see some different stuff about us. Um, <laughs> that's true. I We just watched the Emoji Movie. He wasn't just a meh. Did you ever see the meh on the Emoji Movie? Yes. You didn't watch the Emoji Movie, did you? I think I fell asleep in it. <laughs> We're going to have to watch the Emoji Movie just to, just to take in the meh. I watched a quarter of it first quarter but he, he couldn't just be the man he was like the love eyes and the heart booming and the crying face and everything i'll have to watch it now yeah because mm. it's, it's all the emotions in one mm. that yeah. describes me yeah. <laughs> i'm so glad you guys had fun tonight and loved it and i'm sorry for our little hiccups and snafus and putting the o upside down because it makes the whole thing look crooked but i straight it's so straight otherwise he did a better job than me, so we'll just go with family names. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again. Uh, we'll see you soon. If you have any questions, of course, let us know in the comments or send us a private message. Nate actually does do a lot to get back to you guys in private when you don't even realize it, too. Sometimes you never know who you're going to get, me or him. <laughs> if it's really nice, it's me. If it's very short, very it's short and no punctuation, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you all. Have a great night. See you soon. Bye.